Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to install PHP MyAdmin for your MySQL or MariaDB LAMP stack. But this will be installed on PHP MyAdmin on a headless Raspberry Pi. It'll also work for a Raspberry Pi that has a monitor connected, known as a headed Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. First thing we have to do is SSH onto our box. If you've been following this tutorial so far, right click in your start bar, go to Windows PowerShell Admin and select yes when user account control kicks in. Type SSH, then the Raspberry Pi username, and then an at sign and the hostname of the Raspberry Pi. Then enter the password for the Raspberry Pi. That will be Raspberry if you've not changed the password, as that is the default. Hit return and we're now logged in. We can clear the screen. And then we can do sudo apt install php my admin. So that's basically saying super user do apt the application installer install what we want to do and php my admin the package we want to install. As you can see, it's going to take an extra 56.5, so 57 megabytes of space. So we just hit Y for yes and hit return. Okay, it's now asking if we should choose our web server. Now I'm not using Apache or Lite HTTPD in this server. I'm actually using Nginx, so I'm just going to hit Tab and press OK. OK, so it's now saying the PHP MyAdmin package must have database installed and configured before it can be used. This can be optionally handled by dbconfig. If you're an advanced database administrator, I know that you want to perform this configuration manually or if your database has already been installed and configured, you can reuse this option. Sorry, you can refuse this option. Details of what's needed to be done should most likely be provided in user share docs PHP my admin. Otherwise, you should probably choose this option. Configure database for PHP my admin using dbconfig common. I'm going to say yes. It's asking for the MySQL application password for PHP my admin. So I'm going to give it a password. So it's actually failed to create the database. I don't understand why. I think it's because it's trying to log in as root without a password. So what I'll do is I'll run PHP my admin. I'll try using the root account and the password. That failed as well. I love this. You can do Unix installations or Linux installations hundreds of times and not have issues. And then all of a sudden when you hit the record button, boom. OK, I'm going to ignore that for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to retry that, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to configure a user in MySQL in order to do this. So let's log into MySQL as root using sudo space MySQL space dash u space root space dash p, which that's me for the password. Now I'm going to have to try and give it the correct details. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create the PHP my admin user. Okay, so I'm going to say create space user PHP my admin, the name of the user, at localhost where they should be logging in, identified by and choose a more secure password than this. Obviously, I'm only using this for tutorial password. And a semicolon and end, hit return. It should create a new user. Now we need to give them permissions. So grant all privileges on star dot star, so everything, to single quote PHP my admin single quote at single quote localhost single quote with grant option semicolon oh I must have made a mistake I can't spell with correctly in that split okay I'm going to flush the privileges to reload that information I'm going to do quit and then semicolon and what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and reinstall PHP my admin okay to uninstall PHP my admin so we can try this again it's sudo space dpkg Debian package space dash capital P space php my admin. It's asking to deconfigure the php my admin database, but we never got it created, so I'm going to say no. Just give it that a moment. Okay, now that that's been uninstalled, I'm going to try and reinstall it. sudo apt install php my admin. So I'm going to say yes. MySQL application password for PHP MyAdmin. 
So enter the password. Enter it again. I'm not using either of those, so tab and OK. Hopefully it'll work this time. OK, so I'm going to have another attempt to try and fix PHP my admin in this tutorial. I'm going to cancel out of that by selecting abort. I'm going to log into PHP my admin. I'm going to remove root's password. So hopefully if I've got my command right, that set space password space for root at localhost equals password quote quote. Okay, I'm going to do quit semicolon and then we'll try epkg and we configure space php my admin to restart the installation. Oh, and I forgot the sudo. Okay, so I can't reconfigure it because it didn't fully install. So I'll do sudo apt install php my admin. I think the reason this installation is broken is because in my MySQL tutorial that I previously did, I set a root user password in order to make it more secure. And I should probably have done that at this point after installing PHP my admin. So it's asking me if I want to create the database. So I'm going to say yes. It looks like it's actually working this time. It appears to have done that. So I'm going to clear the screen. Bring in my Nginx. So if this has worked correctly, I should be able to do PHP my admin. This will probably fail. It did. Now the reason it's failed is because as I said earlier, we're not using light HTTP or Apache. So we have to configure the Raspberry Pi to point to the correct PHP my admin folder. So in order to do this, I'll use this command. It's sudo ln, which is link, dash s, which means it's a symbolic link. So it's more like a fake link. Slash user slash share slash php my admin so that's where our php my admin is installed space slash var slash www slash html and that's where nginx holds its html files for its website so if i hit return it should work and hopefully if i now go back here and refresh there we go and i can't do anything at the moment because there's no user set up for this. So you should always not log in using your root user. In fact, I'll show you if I try and log in as root, it tells me that it's not actually allowed. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to go back into MySQL. And if we go back up here to our create user, we can create a user called DB admin and we can give them permissions across all user hosts and I'll leave that password just now but I'll, let's say I'll correct this offline because this is something that I'm only using for testing so what I'm saying is create space user space DB admin if I can spell it right I haven't in this case at percent site which is all hosts identified by in the password password and ending up with a semicolon. Okay, that's now been done. So if I do quit semicolon and then I go back over to PHP my admin and I select DB admin and then enter a password, the password I've just set. There we go. It has now let me log in and my SQL is working as expected. Okay, another addendum to this video is we created a new user but we didn't actually give any privileges. So let's fix that just now. So let's log back into MySQL with sudo space MySQL space dash u space root space dash p. Hit return. Uh, I don't actually have a password, so that's interesting. But it's asking for one. So log in without the password. And we created a user called dbadmin. So if I scroll further up to when I granted all privileges to the PHP my admin account, I'll do DB admin and percent. 
Now this isn't secure because I'm basically giving root access to this particular user, but again we can tighten that up later on. So the command would be grant space, all space privileges, space on, space star dot star, so that's all databases, space two, and then db admin at percent, which is the db admin account, and the percentage means at any host, with space grant space options, and then semicolon, or option rather, and then semicolon. Now that I've done that, if I do quit and semicolon, and we go back into PHP my admin, as you can see, it tells me I've got no privileges. If I reload that, there we go. You can now see, interestingly, it's still not giving me permissions to create databases, that's interesting, but you can see the other databases here that we currently have within the system. And it's allowed me to browse everything that's actually there. So I'll have to work on why it's not allowing me to create databases, and I'll probably pick that up in another video. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.